to all of my Libras out there. So um, please make sure to get my book on Amazon or Barnes & Noble. Excuse me, the link to that is in the description box below as usual. Uh, yeah, so my email address as well as the prices to get a personal reading or any one of my other, uh, you know, countless services is in the description box. I think I have like 10 different services. So, you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? Or 10 services. Pick one. So, uh, the cards that I come up with for the for you Libras, excuse me, is you have the Knight of uh, Wands, the Emperor, Two of Pentacles, the Strength card, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Ace of Swords, um, Five of Cups. And if I'm going by too quickly, just kind of stop it or rewind it, right? Go over it again, okay? Um, I'm doing that just for uh, time's sake, right? Um, the full, the, and last but not least, you have the Knight of Swords. So, what I'm seeing here for the Libras, okay, um, that's interesting, okay, I'm seeing you Libras, um, Okay, that's interesting. Uh -huh, that's interesting. Okay. Okay, so um you have some okay, so you Libras have someone missing you because you're not around them anymore. You're not you're not around them, you're not kicking it with them anymore. Why I'm saying that in the first place and why that's even a problem is because this person seems to really want you back, okay? You have the you have the Knight of Wands, okay? You have the Knight of Wands, uh, the right. The Knight of Wands represents um, how do I say? The Knight of Wands represents this person, kind of uh, thinking about how like uh, if it wasn't for you, the relationship would have still have happened or something like this, or the relationship would have still been around existing. And then you have the emperor and the four of pentacles, right? The emperor and the four of pentacles is, is that this person is deliberately missing what they're not, what they don't want to understand. They had a, a help in destroying whatever kind of relationship you and this person had. The strength card and the ace of pentacles represents they have to come to terms with this, that they made up 50% of the relationship, right? Because it takes two. So they made up 50%, excuse me, of the relationship. So why are they acting like you pretty much made up the 100% of the relationship? I'm not necessarily sure. Well, I am sure. They're, they're just delusional. You know what I mean? They're just delusional. But the, but the point that I'm trying to make here is they want to pin all that stuff on you, right? And you have the um, Ten of Cups and the, the Ace of Swords and the Five of Cups, right? This is them knowing that full well, right, with the Ten of Cups. But the um, Ace of Swords is they're still going to try to play it off like that wasn't really the case right so uh or 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 as if you were the one that was so miserable to be with that they had to dump you but if that's the case then why is it that you Libras got the five of cups which is them wishing that the relationship didn't end so they were suffering, they were doing all this, they were they were handling all this miserable grunt work from you Libras only to miss y'all. That doesn't make any sense. So then you have the Fool and the Knight of Swords. The Fool and the Knight of Swords is you, the Fool is you Libras moving forward. You don't care. 
this person is uh, a non-factor in your life the knight of swords is but this person wants to most definitely come back so i'm gonna say this don't be surprised libras if you hear from these people um and the six of swords starts coming up um pretty soon you know let's clarify the knight of swords You have the uh, Knight of Cups, Three of Pentacles, and right, the Lovers. Okay, so that, that, I'm going to be real with you. That card is kind of taken as good or bad to be real with you. And in one of my videos, I may explain why that is, right? I, I think I might have to. But um, so you have the Knight of Cups, right, which is you moving forward correctly, okay, because being with them, they were actually the insufferable ones, right? The miserable ones. So, and the Three of Pentacles is you tried, you, you may have tried your best to do this type of stuff to make it work between you and them. And it did, excuse me, it didn't work out because um, they wouldn't allow it to, right? They make up 50%. So if, if so, if 100% of the relationship is you and them and 50% of the relationship, which is you, is trying to make the other 50% stop wilding out, but the other 50% is in uh, a mutiny, what can be done, you know? And the lovers represents this version of love that this person had is a very twisted one. And, and like I said before, I may go in on that. Um, you know, the world right now is in a twisted version of what they think the lovers is. And this is a very, this card here is a very treacherous card, okay? And the reason for that is because this is a situation where, you know, people use the term love in order to manipulate a lot of other people, right? Um, when, when people don't want any kind of backlash for something, manipulative, untrustworthy people will claim they love them just so that they can get by with the abuse. So that's, so the lover's card, from my own understanding, is something that people should really start learning how to be quite um, suspicious of. So uh, that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Peace, y'all.